In previous lecture, we learned about immediately invoked function expressions and we learned that iffy or immediately invoked function expression are one of the most popular design patterns in JavaScript and it helps in providing data privacy. In this lecture, we are going to learn how an iffy provides data privacy in JavaScript. Let's say we have this script.js file and there are several developers who are working on this JavaScript file. So let's say developer one comes and makes some changes in this JavaScript file. So what he does is he creates a variable called first name and he assigns it with this value John. And then he also creates a function. Let's call it greetings. And this function is going to take this name and time of day parameter. And inside this function, the developer simply wants to log a greeting message. So he want to log this message. Okay. And he also calls this function. So greetings, and then he passes value for first name. I mean value for this name parameter as first name and for time of day let's say he passes evening and that's it the job of developer one is done let's save these changes and see if it is working so good evening John how are you doing today okay now let's say another developer comes so let's call him developer so this developer comes and he is unaware of the changes made by this developer one and his task is also to create a variable and a function which will greet the user. So unknowingly he also creates a variable with same name. Let's call it first name. Okay. So he also creates the same variable and assigns it with some other value. Let's say mark. And he also creates the same function, I mean the function with same name, which is greetings. And this greetings function is also going to take this name and time of day parameter. Now here, this developer will show a greeting message in a slightly different way. So let's say console.log and he logs this message okay so hi name and it's a beautiful time of day and he also calls this function greetings and to this he passes the first name for the value of name parameter and he passes morning for the value of time of day parameter okay now here you notice Two developers have worked independently on the same JavaScript file and they have created two variables with same name and two functions with same name. Okay, now let's append some string for, for this first function and let's call it, let's say, uh, first function called. Okay, and here let's say second function called okay and then the greeting message now let's save these changes and here we are calling this greetings function two times so this greetings should call this greetings function and this greeting should call this greeting function written by developer 2 but when we refresh the page you will notice that in both the cases the second function is getting called Right, the second function is called here in both the cases and this is giving an ambiguity. So since we have two functions with same name, only the last function is getting called every time. Now let's say another developer, developer3 comes and he also writes the same function. So his job is also to write a greetings function. So he comes and he writes the same function. 
but he does not create this first name variable okay so here he has written only a single function which is greetings and let's say this time third function called and instead of hi let's say hello it's a nice time of day now let's save these changes and let's refresh the page and here you see now for all the three calls the third function is getting called since third function is the last function it is getting called every time every time we call this greeting function this third function is getting called okay so every time we are calling this greetings function the last definition of that function is being called and in real life the, the javascript file might be of 10000s of lines of code and there will be several developers working on that and by mistake it is possible that developers name their function or variable same as it has been already defined and that's why it is very important to make these variables and functions private so that the other definition of that fun variable or function will not affect the previous definition so how can we you know solve this problem now if you remember from our scope lecture we know that variables and functions i mean variables and functions defined within a function has that scope so when you create a function and declare variables and functions inside that function that variable and function is only accessible inside that function right and this if we uses the same concept so if we create an if we so here let's create an if we so let's define an anonymous function here and inside this function what we will do is we will cut this code from here and we will use it inside this function inside this function you know immediately invoked function expression and since this is a function the variables and functions declared inside this function will be local to this function so this variable first name and this you know uh, function greetings is not visible to outside world because they are declared within this function so their scope is within this function and that means this first name and greetings is local or you can say private to this function right and let's also cut this from here and use it after this function definition okay so now let's use the another set of parentheses which will call this if we immediately so when this if we is called inside this if we we are declaring this variable first name and this greetings function and we are calling this greetings function so when once this function you know once we run the program this function this if we will be called immediately and this greetings inside this if we are calling this greetings function so it will log this message in the developer console so this time currently you see it is uh, calling the third definition of this greetings function but now since it is private to this function this greetings this definition of this greetings function will be called so let's save the changes and refresh the page and here first function is called okay so good evening john how are you doing today so here we have made this greetings function and this first name variable private to this function okay so these are now private variables and functions let's do the same thing for definition 2 written by developer 2 so this developer comes back and writes an ify so function and inside this function we are going to copy this code and use it inside this function okay let's give a tab let's save the changes and here earlier it was calling the third definition of this greetings function but now since this first name and greetings is a private you know private variable and private function it will not use you know it will use its own definition so let's refresh the page before that let's save this 
and let's refresh the page so first name is not defined so line number 663 yeah this error is here okay so here first name is not defined because now earlier this greetings function was using the first name of this variable right because it, earlier it was not a private variable so this function was able to access that first name variable and it was using that name but now this first name is a private variable so this function does not have access to that first name right and that's why we are getting this error so again developer 3 is notified about his error and he comes back and he creates another variable first name and he also let's say let's first assign the value so mary and he also includes you know write this complete code inside an ify so function and let's copy this and let's use it inside this function okay so now this first name and this definition of this greetings function is private to this function okay and we also have to call this ify by using these parentheses here and here now you will notice all these definitions are you know are using all these greetings function are using their own definition so let's refresh the page so first function is called second function is called third function is called okay so in this way if he has made these variables private to that particular function to this function okay so these this first name and this greetings is private you know private members of this function this function and this this variable first name and this greetings function is private member of this function and if we go up this first name and this greetings function is a private member of this if this function so this is how if makes the data private in javascript if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends.